Good morning, lights. Today, we're diving into a topic that's generating a lot of buzz and controversy, the Paris 2024 Olympics opening ceremony. What was intended to be a grand celebration has instead sparked outrage among many who have labeled it as disrespectful and garbage. In this video, we'll explore the reasons behind this backlash, dissect the specific elements that have drawn criticism, and consider the broader implications of this controversy. So, let's get into it. The French Catholic Church went berserk about what they saw as a parody of the Last Supper, and by extension, their entire religion. Christian conservatives in Europe and America, and even their Muslim counterparts across the world, followed suit expressing their outrage. The show was branded blasphemous and an abomination. There were calls for boycotts from Latin America to the Middle East. To so many, the expensive, poorly performed extravaganza on the Seine was an insult to everything they consider sacred. Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper is arguably the most famous artistic depiction of this event. Painted between 1495 and 1498, it captures the dramatic moment when Jesus announces that one of his apostles will betray him. The painting's composition, use of perspective, and emotional intensity have made it a masterpiece of Renaissance art. Spiritual Symbolism in the Last Supper The Last Supper is laden with spiritual symbolism, asterisk, bread and wine, representing Jesus' body and blood. These elements are central to the Christian practice of communion, asterisk, betrayal and sacrifice. The announcement of betrayal and Jesus' impending sacrifice symbolize themes of loyalty, forgiveness, and redemption. Asterisk, community and service. The gathering of Jesus and his apostles highlights the importance of community and the act of serving others. This tableau supposedly aimed at uniting people also included a blue Dionysus, Greek god of wine, festivity, and fertility, portrayed by French singer who laid naked on a platter among the drag queens. According to the International Olympic Committee, this performance by what was essentially a man dressed as a smurf was aimed at making us realize the absurdity of violence between human beings. The ceremony, watched by over 28 million people, certainly managed to unite millions of people, just not in love and celebration, but disappointment and anger. The decision to hold the opening ceremony along the San River, rather than in a traditional stadium, was a bold and unprecedented move. Organizers envisioned it as a way to democratize the event, making it more accessible to the public. However, this decision has not been without its critics. Many people felt that abandoning the traditional stadium setting was a mistake. Critics argue that a stadium provides a controlled environment, essential for the grandeur and precision of such an event. The Seine, while iconic, presented logistical challenges that some believe detracted from the ceremony's overall impact. This departure from tradition was seen by some as a disrespectful break from the past, undermining the solemnity and grandeur typically associated with Olympic ceremonies. A Clash with Reality While the use of the Seine was intended to highlight environmental consciousness, it paradoxically drew criticism for environmental reasons. The elaborate preparations and the influx of spectators led to concerns about pollution and damage to the river's ecosystem. Environmentalists argued that the event contradicted the very principles of sustainability it purported to champion. The temporary infrastructure required for the ceremony, including stages and seating, was seen as an unnecessary strain on the local environment. This perceived hypocrisy angered many, who saw the event as paying lip service to environmental issues while contributing to the problem. Controversial and polarizing artistic choices made during the ceremony also sparked outrage. Paris, known for its rich artistic heritage, attempted to showcase contemporary and avant-garde art forms. However, some of these choices were seen as too abstract or disconnected from traditional Olympic themes. One particularly contentious piece was a modern dance performance that many viewers found obscure and unrelatable. Critics described it as garbage, arguing that it lacked the universal appeal and emotional resonance expected from such a globally significant event. This clash between traditional expectations and contemporary art led to widespread disappointment and frustration, a source of division. The opening ceremony also included several political messages which proved divisive. In an attempt to address global issues, 
Segments of the ceremony highlighted themes such as climate change, immigration, and social justice. While these are undoubtedly important topics, their inclusion in the Olympic ceremony was seen by some as inappropriate and heavy-handed. Critics argued that the Olympics should be a time to celebrate athletic achievement and global unity, not a platform for political statements. This perception of politicization alienated many viewers who felt that the ceremony should remain apolitical and focus on the athletes and the spirit of the games. Missteps and Criticisms Another major point of contention was the perceived cultural insensitivity in some of the performances and presentations. Certain segments of the ceremony were intended to celebrate diversity and global culture, but instead came across as stereotypical or tokenistic. For example, a segment featuring performers in traditional African attire was criticized for perpetuating stereotypes rather than celebrating authentic cultural expressions. These missteps were seen as disrespectful and tone deaf, further fueling the outrage and disappointment among viewers. An unforgiving audience. In any large-scale event, technical difficulties are almost inevitable. Unfortunately, the Paris 2024 opening ceremony was no exception. There were several instances of audio-visual glitches, including microphone issues and timing errors in the light show. While these might seem like minor issues, in the context of an event watched by millions around the world, they became significant points of criticism. Viewers took to social media to express their frustration, labeling the ceremony as poorly executed and unprofessional, amplifying the outrage. Social media played a crucial role in amplifying the outrage. Platforms like Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram were flooded with posts criticizing the ceremony. Hashtags like hash Paris Olympics, fail, and hash disrespectful garbage trended for days, reflecting the widespread discontent. Memes and videos mocking the ceremony went viral, further damaging its reputation. This digital backlash not only highlighted individual grievances, but also created a collective sense of disappointment and anger. The viral nature of social media ensured that any misstep was magnified and scrutinized by a global audience. Disappointment and support. Interestingly, the reactions from athletes were mixed. Some athletes expressed disappointment, feeling that the ceremony did not adequately honor their achievements or the spirit of the games. They felt overshadowed by the artistic and political elements that dominated the event. However, others supported the ceremony's bold choices, appreciating the attempt to innovate and address important global issues. This division among the athletes themselves mirrored the broader public reaction, highlighting the polarizing nature of the ceremony. Defending the vision, in the face of widespread criticism, the organizers of the Paris 2024 opening ceremony defended their vision. They argued that the ceremony was designed to challenge conventions and provoke thought, rather than simply entertain. The organizers emphasized their commitment to inclusivity, sustainability, and artistic expression. They acknowledged the criticisms but maintained that their approach was intended to reflect the dynamic and progressive spirit of Paris. This response, however, did little to quell the outrage as many felt it was dismissive of legitimate concerns. Past controversies and triumphs, to understand the significance of the backlash, it's helpful to compare it to past Olympic ceremonies. Throughout history, opening ceremonies have faced their share of controversies and criticisms. For instance, the 2012 London Olympics faced scrutiny for its portrayal of British history, while the 2008 Beijing Olympics were criticized for political overtones. These comparisons show that while controversy is not uncommon, the level of outrage surrounding the Paris 2024 ceremony was particularly intense. This might be due to the heightened expectations and the unprecedented nature of some of the choices made by the organizers. The role of media in shaping public perception of the ceremony cannot be underestimated. News outlets around the world covered the backlash extensively, often focusing on the most negative reactions. Headlines emphasizing words like disrespectful and garbage fueled the narrative of failure. This media coverage contributed to a feedback loop where public outrage was amplified by the press, which in turn generated more negative reactions. The sensationalism surrounding the coverage may have overshadowed more balanced or positive perspectives on the ceremony. The controversy surrounding the Paris 2024 opening ceremony has broader implications for the Olympics brand. The Olympics are not just a sporting event. 
They are a global celebration that relies heavily on its positive image and universal appeal. This backlash risks tarnishing that image, potentially affecting future viewership and sponsorship. It raises questions about the balance between innovation and tradition and how the Olympics can evolve while maintaining the elements that have made it beloved by millions. The lessons from the Paris 2024 opening ceremony will likely influence future Olympic ceremonies. Organizers will need to carefully consider the balance between artistic expression and audience expectations. Future ceremonies might adopt a more cautious approach, ensuring that innovation does not come at the expense of coherence and respect for tradition. There will also likely be a greater emphasis on cultural sensitivity and avoiding political overtones that can alienate viewers. The controversy highlights the challenges of navigating audience expectations in an era of rapid change. The Paris 2024 organizers aim to push boundaries and reflect contemporary issues, but the backlash suggests that many viewers were not ready for such a departure from tradition. Understanding and managing audience expectations will be crucial for future events. This involves finding ways to innovate and address important themes without losing the essence of what makes the Olympics special, its ability to unite people in celebration of athletic excellence and global harmony. Personal Stories and Opinions One of the most compelling aspects of the backlash was the personal stories and opinions shared by viewers. Social media platforms were flooded with comments and videos from people expressing their disappointment. Many felt a deep sense of betrayal as the ceremony did not meet their expectations for such a prestigious event. For instance, longtime Olympic fans voiced their sadness over the departure from tradition, feeling that the ceremony lacked the emotional depth and grandeur they had come to love. Some attendees who had traveled long distance to witness the event in person shared their frustration over logistical issues and the chaotic organization along the Seine. These personal accounts added a human element to the outrage making it more relatable and heartfelt. The Paris 2024 Olympics opening ceremony was a bold experiment that sought to redefine the traditional framework of Olympic ceremonies. While it succeeded in provoking thought and discussion, it also sparked significant outrage and disappointment. This controversy serves as a reminder of the delicate balance required in organizing such a globally significant event. It highlights the importance of respecting tradition while embracing innovation and addressing contemporary issues. As we reflect on the outrage, it's important to recognize the diversity of perspectives and the passionate engagement of audiences worldwide. The lessons learned from this experience will undoubtedly shape the future of the Olympics and its opening ceremonies, guiding organizers to create events that resonate deeply and positively with audiences around the world. Thank you for joining us in this in-depth exploration of the Paris 2024 Olympics opening ceremony and the controversy it sparked. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content that delves into the stories and issues shaping our world. As always, we love you deeply. Wish you to have a more abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Do you run?